And I also wanted to take a little bit of moments before we go on to the political section of the podcast, uh, while we're on the discussion of speedrunning, um, to just kind of like, I want to do like a little call to action here um, for everyone in my community, personally, because uh, I think it's important. And uh, so I made a little thread here um, that I think is important. And uh, Narcissa uploaded a video not too long ago that was just a goodbye video. And it's just like 30 seconds of basically her saying that, like, it's just not worth it anymore. And uh, and she's going to be alone and it's essentially just disappearing from the Internet. Um, and so this is very worrisome because, I mean, you know, it's just like everyone knows and and if you want to pretend like you don't know like feel free but everyone knows that uh she has been on like the the receiving end of an extremely awful and evil hateful fucking campaign of people from like kiwi farms and like fucking reddits and like fucking 8chan and like 4chan it's just like there's so many groups of people that want to see her suffer and die and they actively tr- attempt to do so by like just being extremely awful and every single person in the speedrunning community knows about this every single person and nobody does anything and even worse the, like everyone just pretends that like oh yeah it's all justified because she made like a weird video like three years ago and it's just like mm-hmm. that shit is just ridiculous so I, like I just wanted to make this thread because I want people, if you're watching this, and I want you to just, like, find some way to contact her, go to her YouTube channel, like, just leave a nice comment or something, you know what I mean? Like, no one deserves to, like, wake up every single morning and be flooded with thousands of emails of people telling you to kill yourself and people saying that they're going to, like, kill you, you know, I'm going to come to your house and fucking, like, nobody deserves that. So, like... The fact that everyone knows, right, that this has been happening, like, it's just, it's, it, I don't know, it's just kind of silly. Um, like, and I'm not asking you to, you know, like, be super cool friends with her. She's, you know, she's rightfully very kind of reclusive. Um, it's just like, I, I don't know, leave a nice comment, you know, you know, it's just mm-hmm. like, talk about it. It's, it's like the little things sometimes that, like, make you really not feel so alone sometimes. And I, I know that would, like, help me if I was in that situation, you know? Yeah, for sure. For sure. Like, to go from, again, like, she is often hailed as, like, the pinnacle of the history of speedrunning. Like, you see all these videos. Like, I, I wanted to get into this, but I, I will later. Like, fucking Apollo Legends downfall video is just, like, disgusting. Absolutely painful and disgusting Mm -hmm. to watch that stuff and i will be doing a full breakdown of that in a future episode don't you fucking don't you worry um but it's just like the fact that not only do people just ignore her cries for help but they contribute to the the narrative that she's like some crazy person who should be mocked and laughed at you know like if you go to any fucking speedrunning stream and bring up like I don't know, Zelda any percent, you know, a popular speedrunning stream, you're going to have someone in the chat go like, ha ha ha, Cosmo, Kappa, and it's just like, really? Like, and then yeah. like, those people get away with it, and everyone like has like, ha ha ha, Kappa, Kappa, and it's just like, really? Mm. Like, and that's just like stuff that no one cares about, and they just participate in it. It's like, oh yeah, you know, this person is just like one of the most influential people in the history of the hobby that I claim to have as part of my you know, life's work, and I'm just going to contribute to destroying that person for no reason, because I'm yeah. selfish, and uh, I don't know what oppression is, I don't know what hate crimes are, I could never imagine myself in anyone else's shoes. So, like, honestly, like, anyone who's ever gone, like, silent about this stuff, like, I, it's just, it's kind of disgusting. And I have to take responsibility, because, like, when she first came out, I was part of the the people that kind of, like, mocked her and i i regretfully like i deeply apologize for that and we've had conversations over the past like two years about it and uh like it is just like she 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 told me straight up that like she didn't really care about me it was just the overall zeitgeist and she you know obviously appreciates me coming around and apologizing but it's just like again like people aren't irredeemable like if if you have a history of attacking narcissa like do something about it like she needs help You know what I mean? Like, and we're not asking you to fucking give her money. We're not asking you to, like, be her best friend. We're not asking you to subscribe to her shit. We're just asking you to, like, 
be nice to her. You don't even have to send her a comment. Just if someone ever brings her up, just at least give perspective. Don't just say, oh yeah, she made a, a video that's weird. So, you know, mentally ill, haha. Like, that's just, just yeah. disgusting. It's disgusting. Uh, it's, it's disturbing to me how, like, people like, kind of divorce her from, like, the past. Like, because ultimately, like, like, they are, like, the same person. And they didn't, like, just suddenly, like, morph into, like, some other person, you know? And, like, that, that kind of thing, like, like, gets spoken about a lot. Or, like, not spoken about, but, like, it's, like, kind of, like, assumed to that, that to be the case. Yeah, like, the, just, like, the general true. kind of understanding that speedrunners kind of have when discussing Narcissa is, I'm not transphobic, she's just weird now. Which is, right. like, that's not not transphobic, that's extremely transphobic. Why is she weird now? Um, probably because she's, I don't know, had to suffer from literally thousands upon thousands upon thousands of messages telling her to kill herself every single day. So next time you think someone who's trans acts a little weird sometimes, just consider how would you feel if you went from being one of the most beloved people in like the history of, of like a now ever growing niche hobby and you went from one of the most iconic beloved people to being like literally bullied into suicide like just because you transitioned and like you can say oh when she transitioned her content changed but that doesn't that doesn't fucking excuse the fucking bullying and the fucking way people treat her and it's just ridiculous makes yeah, me I mean, fucking people, sick people often change their content all the time like people get sick of playing the same stuff you know and like um, i don't know maybe they just took that as an opportunity to do other things <clears throat> and like there's like no harm in that really and like i don't know it doesn't excuse the bullying and it doesn't excuse like the hate you know it, it, it's it's ridiculous it's ridiculous the shit just fucking infuriates me and like I, like again, like I, I, I personally would prefer if you retweet my tweets because I think it's important. But I mean, like, I, like the thing is, like, I just don't like the speedrunners. Just don't talk about this. Like, they just don't care. They just want to pretend like, oh yeah, I like trans people, but then like they don't actually go the extra mile to actually show that they care about anything. You know what I mean? And it's just like it's sad to see. It's awful. Mm -hmm. Like this is just awful. So like, I just wanted to bring awareness to this because I think it's important. Um. And uh, if you're if you're listening, I highly suggest you go about doing something, uh, you know, to help. 